2024, April 14th, Sunday. It's just about seven o'clock. And once again, we're at the top of 9th Avenue in Dinawit. And today we're going to go to Tunnelbos, also known as Farenkloof. Um That's towards the northwest from us over here. Um, there's one way to go, there's another way to go, it's a circle route. Not exactly sure which way around we're going to go today. We'll see when when the boss decides. And um, weather's fine. Uh, nice and quiet. Wind still this morning. Um, not too hot. Nice autumn weather. And yeah, promises to be a good hike. Just about 10 past 7 on my watch, before I forget. We've walked up the hill, around the water reservoirs, and took the first left turn. We're going to do the tunnel bus circle clockwise around. Uh, going on to 25 past 7. Here we're meeting up with the railway. We've been walking along the left hand side parallel to the railway line. And then just up ahead here we're going to turn off again to the left and walk a little bit more in the bush. It's not really bush but it's not next to the railway line. Anyway, here we go. Still not yet 25 past 7 and here's our turn off to the left. And then a little bit parallel along the line again. Twenty-five past seven. That goes down to First Avenue Fernridge. That goes over to um, Botanical Gardens. Once again, keeps on parallel to the railway line. Here's the railway line, and we've come from that way, turning right up the hill. Crossing the railway line. There we go. Going on to half past. Half past seven. And there's a bush. A woozel bush. And just for completeness, I'm going to go around the other way. This is the whistle bush here on the right hand side, just to be absolutely clear about it. To the left goes to Glen Barry, and you can go around and back down to the um, botanical gardens as well. Turning right here, going to meet with the other people. And then straight across, goes up the mountain and turns back around back to Dennett, if I'm not mistaken. But we're going up the hill. This is a long straight uphill here. Nice clouds. The video doesn't quite do it justice, but yeah, it's going on to 25 to 8, and we've got some cobwebs all over the place. Bedewed cobwebs in the underbrush among the ferns. Let's see if we can get a close up. Yeah. Oh, is there anybody home? Oh, 
Plantation Road is nog een keer aan zoen toe. Oké, alweer een keer door. Oké. This is the, the top of the long straight incline. Here's a zigzag coming up from the road that goes to Glenbarry. You can take, there's a split off, there's a, uh, a turn off to the right it's going up the hill, zigzagging up the hill here, and this one comes out here at the top of the hill. Then up here in front, there's a split. Um, going straight ahead, goes around a whole bunch of bends and eventually end up at Sampis Wuchte. Um, uh, we're going to take the right turn off here, going to gain further elevation and cross a stream, go look at the dam, the old George Dam. And then from there, backtrack and go up the old T-Corp road um, to Farnkloof, Tonnelbos. Going on to 22, 8, 28, yep, <sighs> split to the right, goes around, let's see where does that go, I think that goes back to Dunitwood as well, and then this one here to the left, Goes up to a little stream, across the stream, just on the other side of the stream, at the top of the hill. Um, there's a split again, going to the left, it's going to the old George Dam, going to the right, it's up the hill along the old Tierkorp Road, Tierkorp Path, um, going to Tunnelbos. Going on to quarter two, you can probably hear the water running down there. This is the stream we're going to cross. And there's a weird, very lovely, sweet aroma, fragrance. Not flowery, more sort of sugary sweet in the atmosphere. Ik moet hem vroeger uitgehaald, dat was maskers, jouw voer. Dan slip on de wet rocks.
just past quarter to eight. There's our stream from the other side. This is the way forward. And just up ahead here, there's the split. There we go. That's the old Tirkop path on the, uh, part of the old Otaniqua hiking trail. That uh, was about a seven day hiking trail, I think. I don't know whether it's still hikeable. Um, and then this part here is the Tirkop part of the Otaniqua hiking trail. And you can follow this and go all the way to Tirkop. Um, but we're just going through Tonnelbos around back down again to Denewit. But first, Carl wants to go inspect um, the old George Dam to see what the water, weather's, water level's like. We've had some good rainy weather the last week or so. It sounds like there's thunder in the background. I did not anticipate that. It doesn't feel like thunder weather. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to look what the rain did to the dam. 10 to 8, and there's definitely some thunder in the background towards the northeast of us. We did not anticipate that. There's no rain or thunder forecast the last time I looked. This going down here is the middle part of ACDC, downhill track. Um, and then just up ahead here so turn off to the right which goes to the top part of ACDC and you can follow that that's a detour around the Tirko path going up to Tunnel Boss as well we're not going to do that not today at least and then you can probably hear the water running to our left hand side down the valley that's the water coming from the dam. Here's the turn, turn off, turn up to the right. It's rather steep. It's about man height. Almost, I don't know, about 70 degree climb here. It's rather steep. All fours perhaps. And then after this initial little climb, it's still steep but not as steep going up the hill. And then we're pretty much at the dam. It feels like there's some drops, raindrops falling. Woo, this dam is full. It's almost running over here at the spillway. Let's check this. I haven't seen this dam this full in a long while. The spillway on the other side is flatter, is lower, so the water is probably rushing past there. We're not going there now. Let's see if I can get a nice angle here down below. It is possible to climb over this little obstacle, a little obstacle, a big obstacle, it's about hip high for me. Hip high? Yeah, this is hip high. And then walk across and climb up the wall and walk around across the other spillway when the water is a little bit lower and not running over there. It's definitely rain coming down now. Not hard, just a few drops. Hopefully it'll pass shortly. And then it's also possible to walk around the back of the dam if you don't want to go over the wall. Let's see. Go down to the beach. Thank 
Det är så att jag får ett Helikopter Vad är en fässa? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I get some yeah. raindrop yeah. ripples on the water. Okay, it's just past eight, five past eight, and I did not anticipate that I would open my umbrella for rain today. And hail. And hail. We've got hail. Let's see if we can catch some hail falling on the ground. Take it over there. Anyway, yeah, we've turned around from the dam. This is just on our way back to the Tikop path. And everybody is um, raincoating. So, yeah. Okay, it's 20 past eight. We've decided to go back home and on the way home there was a detour through the underbrush over here. This is about, I don't know, 10 or 20 meters long and then you get onto another road, onto that um, alternative split when you come up the hill here towards the little stream. This is going to that alternative split. You can go down there and then take the split but this is just a shortcut to get to the split. And not a minute later that's where I've come from, through the bush, about 10 meters. And this is the alternative split to the right hand side as you come up the hill. And then we're going to follow this around the bend going back home. Going on to half past eight. Here's a turn off to the left that I don't know. It looks like a downhill track for bicycles, mountain bikes. Perhaps one day we'll inspect that. I wonder where that comes from. Uh, what have we got? Uh, still half post. Half post eight. And here's a turn off to the left. And this goes back to the waterworks at top of 9th Avenue as well. But we're going to the right hand side which will take us to the bottom of that incline that takes you eventually up to some piece of water. This is certainly a significantly greater amount of rain than what was forecast and I mean there was no rain forecast. So where does all of this come from? 
Going on to quarter to nine and here we are at the bottom of the long straight incline on the top of the whistle bush and there's a trail runner coming down the hill also got caught in the rain another runner is it And here's another hiker. How's that? And then here's a turn off to the right to Glenbarry. Uh, one way around to get to the bot botanical gardens and we're going to the left back down to the railway line and here we are on the other side of the whistle bush what's a whistle bush a whistle bush is like uh, where the whistle wasn't in uh, the original Winnie the Pooh um, stories I, I can't remember whether it's in the first or the second book but there's a story entitled Where the Whistle Wasn't and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet are tracking some tracks going around in the forest and I'm not going to spoil it for you, it's a nice little story. Highly recommend it. Still just about quarter to nine. A little bit down the road from the whistle bush is the railway line. We're going that way. And straight ahead is back down to Fernridge First Avenue. To the right is to the Botanical Gardens. And we're going left. Back home. Right, what do we have? Going on to 10 to 9. Getting back to the railway line. And just shortly down the road, we turn off the railway line back into the bush. And for reference, it's still 10 to 9. Okay, nine o'clock, going on to five past nine. And we are pretty much back home, top of 9th Avenue. That was interesting, unexpected, not quite what we had in mind, but here we are. Now you know, here you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and good night. Just for the sake of irony, here we are. This is the end, and the rain stopped. Just now, the rain has stopped. Okay. Let's